<laughs> Internationally renowned artist Paul Collins travels the world, immersing himself deep in the various cultures he chooses to paint. <laughs> With paintings hanging in major galleries all over the world, Paul Collins is an unquestioned success story. He knows a great deal about looking at a dream, realistically, from every side. Because see, when you're impoverished, you got nothing to give yourself. So therefore, you got nothing to give anybody else. In economically underdeveloped countries, where do you start? By encouraging self-reliance, Free a Family is making a real difference in urban areas as well. In the capital city of Tegucigalpa, Victoria has become one of its newest entrepreneurs. From her tiny restaurant, she has a hard time keeping up with the orders for fried plantains and bananas. Nearby, in the impoverished San Pedro district, Doña Nina sells homemade tortillas and bananas from the doorway of her tiny one-room apartment. Both Victoria and Doña Nina were destitute until they provided the will, and Fria family provided the capital in the form of a small business loan. It's good to earn an income in an honorable way, says Doña Nina. When it comes to dealing with people who require more help than most, historically, there are very few positive words. Asylum, madhouse, institutionalized. But at TNC, we like to suggest one very positive word. Home. Let's go see your buddy. Let's go see Gina. Well, they've, they have a history, and Stephanie's always been drawn to Gina. If she's crying, she'll come in and check on her. If we can't find Stephanie, she's back here with Gina. Um, Gina um, will reach out to her. Stephanie usually hugs her <laughs> um, and sometimes gives her a headlock, <laughs> gets her in a headlock. So that's what we consider everybody knows that these are the two best friends right here. Waste takes decades to break down, and the liquid runoff poisons our groundwater, streams, and rivers. Often overlooked, people assume that if they don't live close to a landfill, they are not affected by a landfill. Dr. Themelis. From a global um, point of view, let's say from the global atmosphere, no matter where you put landfills, you have to deal with the greenhouse gases that are emitted from them. Uh, and this is due to the methane. Methane, which is 21 times more potent than CO2. No matter where we locate them, rotting landfills remain a primary source of these two greenhouse gases. The politicians and the pressure of the peoples that has created a 1% of the arts, specifically for art, I think is a tremendous contribution. 1% for art is a local initiative that requires that all civic projects devote at least 1% of their budget to incorporating artistic elements into their design. It is not only good for the artists, it's good for the cities, it's good for the community, it's getting art again out to the public. 1% for art projects are visible throughout the Kansas City area, ranging from the sky stations that grace Bartle Hall to the striking sculptures that greet patrons of the Kansas City International Airport, all of which constantly reflect the importance of art in the city. The 1904 World's Fair came to St. Louis, and with it, the newly minted Olympics. Colonel George McGrew, ever present, pressed politely, and Olympic golf came to Glen Echo. The final rounds for gold were as exciting as any 36-hole match could be. H. Chandler Egan, and George Lyon matched each other hole for hole on a sunny afternoon. But this was golf. Egan's reliable driver acted up during the last 18 holes. He knocked his drive into the water on 15, lost the next hole and the match, down three with two to play. George Lyon summed up his gold medal win. I am not foolish enough to think that I am the best player in the world, but I am satisfied that I am not the worst. 
The medal itself is commemorated in our bag tags. Our reproduction remains one of the club's most prized possessions, but the members and guests become a part of Olympic history every time they tee it up.